during the meeting of the National Development Implementation Committee, where we work again closely with the head of public service, which the, in which the principal secretaries present, present today would have attended, we touched on the ESCC report and template, and it was agreed that each state department would establish a corruption prevention committee. Now, this is very serious because you have to report back to the head of public service. And be very deliberate. Confirm that you have set up these committees. Give him the names of who are in those committees so that it is not just a verbal communication. Let it be very clear that you have done so. And the way the PSS did it, PSS are the ones to chair those corruption prevention committees in their ministries. We would expect the CEOs of all the regulatory authorities to also chair that particular committee so that we can deal with this corruption issue. The headlines we have been seeing are not good for us. They are not good for the country. It becomes awkward when some of our key development partners are citing this as an issue that is obstructing very strategic agreements that we want to enter into. So please, let's look at that area very, very effectively. I challenge all the agencies to do the same, that is establish the corruption prevention committees and institute measures geared towards wiping our, out avenues for corruption in line with the lessons contained in the EAC report and template. The agencies must not be dens of corruption or rent seeking. They must carry out their core mandates effectively and in the national interest. So, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to express appreciation to the head of the public service for taking the lead in streamlining the regulatory authorities and agencies. And in this, I was telling him that to the best of my reflection, and I've been around government for some time, uh, I cannot recollect when regulatory authorities in particular were convened to have this kind of dialogue. There are usually other convenings, but this one is a unique one, just focused on the regulatory. I also want to commend the head of public service for one very significant move. The powers of the Inspectorate of State Corporations had been curtailed for seven years. Remember that. Remember the seven years of Egypt. Because the previous administration had not facilitated the appointment of state corporation of the state corporations appeals tribunal a necessary tool to give effect to the surcharge mandate of the inspectorate under the guidance of the head of public service tribunal members and the chairpersons were appointed and the inspectorate now has the power to surcharge this power to surcharge is a critical tool in the war against corruption. Seven years. Just imagine. Seven years. People by design just making sure an entity of government is rendered dysfunctional, deliberately. As we speak here, 
as I talk about seven years there, try and reflect you as a regulator. If you go into your archives, how long have you taken to dispense with a decision that is required so that a business decision can be made one way or the other? Have you had it for seven years? Have you had it for five years? Have you had it for three months? This is a time for us to look at ourselves internally. And don't say I'm looking at you because I've, I'm pointing a finger at you. If you know there is something like that, this is a time for you to reform yourself.